Hey folks, Sylvis here. Got a new game going up here. Uh, this is a, not a full replacement for Galactic Save, because I don't know how many videos I'll actually be able to get out of this. Uh, this is a game by, uh, called Now Boarding by Gabob, apparently. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, you can find a, like, demo version of this available in Concrete, actually, which is where I found it. I enjoyed the game enough that I gave it a, you know, I purchased it. Um, nice little indie game, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just play through the, like, career mode. Um, you know what, actually, hold on, let me change. Let me just add a new profile. Uh, let's go with Let's Play. Alright, so Let's Play should have... So you don't start with survival or free play active. I should have no awards. Yes, I have no awards. Nothing unlocked. Uh, and then these are currently blocked, so you can only start here. So, welcome to the airport. This quick tutorial will get you started. Click on the airplane. Click on any gate. This passenger wants to go to Charlotte. You can tell by the magenta, fuchsia maybe? C on their shirt. Click on the passenger. Now click on the airplane to load the passenger. Go ahead and load these other passengers headed for Memphis. I'm going to literally just follow this through even though this is a terrible idea. To send the airplane, click anywhere on the runway. Click on Charlotte. Some of your passengers need to go to Memphis. Click on Memphis to add it to the route. To finalize the route, click the go button. Now the airplane will follow the route. You will always come back to the hub when it's done. Watch the map to see how it works. You can also kind of actually click on the map, which makes it bigger, and then click it again to make it smaller. You can also zoom in and out. Um, airport closing. Atlanta airport hit with rising costs on happy customers. Airline brings new management to try to prevent closing. Welcome to the airport. My name is Oliver, and I'll be helping you keep this place running. We have to get all the passengers to their destination. Each passenger shirt shows where they want to go. We have to load them on a plane and send them there. Okay, let's start off nice and easy. Let's get 20 passengers to their destination in one month. Good luck. So I've got two planes. Um, you don't need to drag, I believe. You can just click. Uh, I prefer to click and drag. And I could have uh, totally uh, picked this other person up and been fine with it, but it's unnecessary. And I didn't need to, for that first plane, click black on Atlanta. Anyway, as I was saying before the tutorial ended, um, these are all the areas that are in the southwest United States. All of this is, what is it, um, nine places. Now, you can see here, when you click them to move them like that, you make them into, like, one entity, so I don't have to manually drag all of them. Makes life a little bit easier. Anyway, I like to keep the map so that I can see all the cities. You haven't seen it yet, but occasionally there'll be people in Charlotte that need to go to Memphis, so you have to send a plane to Charlotte and then have it go over to Memphis, and so on. Uh, so if you can't see all the places, you end up missing people. If you don't get the people where they need to go fast enough, they flip out, and enough people flip out, you kind of, like, lose, sort of. I forgot exactly how it works in the, uh, the, like, campaign that I'm in. Gotta cancel that and put this other person in that plane. Uh, worth mentioning, whichever plane is either set here first or enters the city first gets, like, priority. So while that plane's landing, this plane can't go. Now that plane finished landing. All right. All right, now passengers are going to start coming from other destinations. You can see passengers waiting at other cities on the map. Don't forget to send a plane to pick them up. As I was just saying. So yeah, we're still like tutorial mode right here. Um, each time a person shows up, I get paid. They pay me in advance, which is an interesting concept, but it is how airlines sort of work. Uh... When the people that, uh, come to Atlanta, like, you actually need to pull your plane over, and then that gets the people out. If you leave the plane over here, they'll just stay in there. And eventually, they'll flip out. Now, later on, I'll kind of showcase some other things, but right now, we're just kind of going, like, smooth and easy. Get that dude. Boop. Is everybody just going to Atlanta at this point? I wish I was paying a little bit more attention to how many... Oh, actually, goals. Uh, okay. Those are some interesting goals. Now, alright, we got a situation where a person needs to go to Charlotte also. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up passengers at Memphis. Send a plane there to pick them up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> now there is kind of something I wanted to showcase, and I kind of screwed it up there. I missed my, uh, missed my chance. Alright, final boarding is kind of the no additional customers will show up. You have until, if you noticed here, this was ticking down. You have until the end of that to get all the remaining customers that are already up there. Once you get the last one where it needs to go, the month ends. Total passengers, failures, freakouts, how many I served, satisfaction, minimum, maxes, averages, Memphis is growing apparently. Total number of flights, average length, most delivered, how much money I make. Congratulations, we served at least 20 people this month. Keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm in charge of terminal renovations. Here you can purchase various items to place in the terminal. These items help keep passengers happy. Plants help passengers wait more patiently. Let's buy some plants for the terminal. Uh, atmosphere. Uh, I kind of like the vines. Congratulations, the terminal looks fantastic. Passengers are much happier. Keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Kim in Marketing. To grow our business, we have to expand. Here you can purchase destinations that will increase the number of passengers and make us more money. We need to keep expanding into new cities to keep going. Try expanding into New Orleans. Some cities require saving up a couple of months. Kind of like, well, no, I don't. I definitely don't have enough for New Orleans right now. Goals. So yeah, you can kind of see what my goals are. I definitely don't have enough money to do anything. I do want to get back into the terminal, though, and actually place these. Uh, place? Maybe? There we go. Uh, the people can still, like, walk past that, just so you're Hi, I'm Madalena. We'll be working together. As passengers wait, they lose patience. Their heads will turn pink and they will freak out if they wait too long. To help them chill out, you can repeatedly click on them. I'll be helping you do this. This game appears to be running slowly. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Game's running just fine, by the way. Hopefully the recording's running just fine, too. So yeah, clicking them makes them happy. When you put two people together like that, they, um... Whatever, they do their little thing. <laughs> that way you can move them all together. It makes life easier. Just seeing, pointing this out too, right? Well, that's a bad example. If I don't want to do one of these, I can hit the X, which cancels it. Pretty simple. Now, I believe if I wait here long enough, <clears throat> she'll come, yeah, she'll, well, maybe not. Um, they also, when you put them in groups like that, they stay a little bit happier. I'm, to see her. Ah, alright, cool. I'm happy I can show this cake right now. Alright, so these people need to go to Memphis, right? I'm just gonna not go to Memphis, then. Here she comes. You'll see I picked them up, regardless of the fact that I'm not taking them currently to Memphis. Uh, that will happen. The plane will pick up as many people as it can, <clears throat> even if it doesn't have room for them, and it'll bring them to wherever they need to go or wherever the plane is going. So, let's just say hypothetically I had like all the places available to me, right? So I sent my plane to Charlotte and then Nashville and then Memphis. It would pick up any people that are in Charlotte, take them to Nashville and then take them to Memphis. And hopefully there's enough space for everybody. Now, at this point, because this is getting annoying, I'm actually going to go into the options, and I'm going to turn advanced routing on. Before I turn advanced routing on, though, I want to show you what the situation is. Here we go. The advanced routing option adds two ways to fine-tune who will be picked up uh, by your plane. First is the new yellow triangle, which you see right there. Button. It accepts the route like the green button, but it will only pick up passengers for destinations in the route plan. This prevents the plane from filling up too early with unwanted passengers. Shown above, if the yellow button is used, only the St. Louis passengers will be picked up and delivered. See, we're going from, looks like, from Chicago. I can't actually tell where we're going. Doesn't matter. No, oh, yeah, we're going from Chicago to Cincinnati to St. Louis. So it would pick up the St. Louis person and take him over there, but not the Cincinnati person. Even though the plane's starting from Chicago in this example and ultimately comes back to Chicago, unless you also click on Chicago, it wouldn't pick up the Chicago person. Um, but since we're not going from St. Louis to Cincinnati, it won't pick up the, uh, Saint, the Cincinnati person. <clears throat> By using the yellow button, the pick will only pick up passengers it can deliver. 
It will not pick up passengers for the home terminal unless the home city is added to the end of the route plan. There you go. Also, to fine tune whom will be picked up when the plane is over a city, a player can click on passengers there to deselect them from pickup. A red X indicates they will not be picked up. Advanced routing is definitely the way to play the game. You're not going to be able to just... You're not going to succeed with that advanced route. You're going to ultimately... What's going to happen is... <coughs> Let's, again, assuming I have all these places, I'm sending this plane to Charlotte, and then Memphis, and then I'm bringing it back. Uh, if Memphis suddenly got people that needed to go to Tampa, and Charlotte suddenly got people that needed to go to New Orleans, it would pick all of those up also, and then just bring them back and dump them into Atlanta. And if enough of them were there, <coughs> they could potentially fill the plane up so that you couldn't even get all the people that were in Charlotte that needed to go to Memphis. So, yeah. You do need to just make sure, though, that when you're doing pickups to the home port, that you do remember to click back on the home port. <laughs> you should probably always uh, end the route by going to the home port, because, like, you know, in case somebody just shows up at the city. So even if I'm going from Charlotte to Memphis, just to drop the people that w are in Charlotte that wanted to go to Memphis, uh, if somebody shows up at either of those spots and wants to come back to Atlanta, Unless I select, select the uh, home port, I won't pick those people. So you just want to always pick those people. There's, there's no reason why you wouldn't really want to, unless um, your planes had limited like carrying capacity or something like that. That's the only reason you would ever consider not doing that. And it's not a real reason, to be honest. Well, I made good cash. However, I had to play What's-Her-Face. 500, which brought me down back, and that also cut me off enough so that I can't afford um, New Orleans, which is a shame, because I wanted New Orleans. Um, <clears throat> by far, the more places you have, <clears throat> just in general, the more customers you get. <clears throat> just getting New Orleans doesn't mean that you have a new destination, it means you have customers that wouldn't have normally showed up at all. So you definitely, in an effort to make more money, you definitely want to get as many things as possible. That said, I'm going to buy the, um, the soda machine since I have the cash. Congratulations, our customers will be happier now that they have something to drink. Keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Kim in Marketing. Yeah, yeah, she wants me to get New Orleans still. So you can put this up against the wall, you can put this here, you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to just leave it right here. Hi, I'm John. I'm from Corporate HQ. I keep track of your passenger satisfaction. If a passenger gets too angry, he or she freaks out. If three people freak out, you have to retry the month. Watch out for clouds on the map. If you can fly a plane through, you get bonuses. The line shows which two cities it's between. The first kind of cloud is the money cloud. It gives you extra money. You'll see that people will actually go to that, and they do actually spend money there. Um, it also makes them slightly happy. As a downside to it, though, like, you'll see that those people were there first instead of sitting down. Um, that's a shame. But those two people came in right as I sent that plane out. Um, boop, boop. <laughs> There's the, uh, the money cloud. Dude. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell um, which two like cities the money clouds actually from. Um, for example, if the line was from New Orleans to like Brille, Brille, I'm not really sure how that's pronounced to be honest. Um, it can be hard to tell if it's going to Charlotte or to the R place. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, it's not too complicated on this map, but some of the future maps you'll see are, can be a bit confusing. Anyway, this game's still, like, super easy at this, uh, this early stage. Um, look, she's gonna do her job. Anyway, as I was trying to say, um, having the, like, things can make things a little bit confused. A little bit of a pain at the, at, at this early stage mostly, um, and the reason why I say that is because at this early stage I don't have a lot going on besides people that are starting in my, my home port, uh, Atlanta in this case. <clears throat> 
so it kind of slows down things in Atlanta. In the future, though, when you've got, you know, you're sending most of your planes to other places to pick people up and then take them other places. Uh, it's an entirely different ballgame. But early on, I just want my people to sit down in the chairs as soon as humanly possible so that I can get them to the next spot. On that note, I'm making good money, and those uh, money clouds are definitely my friend right now. <laughs> I have this weird issue with this game. Like, I think it's just me. Um, if anybody else plays it, we'll see, but I have this weird issue where, like, every time I send the plane out, like, right after I send it out, somebody, like, shows up in a way that if I had sent that plane out, like, a second later, it would have made my life really convenient. <laughs> Either, like, I send a plane out to Memphis, and right as it goes out, more people show up in Atlanta that want to go to Memphis. Or, like, you know, I send this plane out to, like, Charlotte... And, uh, right after I do that, like, people show up in Charlotte that want to go to Rayleigh, and I could have sent them there if I had, you know, been on top of things. It drives me nuts a little bit. I just have, like, really bad timing. Quick, get back! Uh, now, or final boarding, I think, makes the clouds go away a little bit faster. I think. One plane waiting to land. But he actually has to walk out the door, and then now it'll end. New personal record. I made a whole bunch of money. Alright, we are going to get uh, New Orleans. This, good job, this city will help us earn more money. We need to keep expanding into new cities to keep growing. Try expanding into that place I can't pronounce. Some cities require saving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already went over that. Let's check our goals out again. Hot dog stand. Eventually get. I don't want me to have a lot of planes. Um, well, I'm not going to buy a plane now. I am going to see, though, by the hot dog stand. Nope, I can't afford it. Just barely can't afford it, too. Hi, I'm Ken. It's nice to meet you. By reseating passengers going to the same destination next to each other, they form a group. Groups of passengers stick together and make loading a snack. It also keeps the passengers happier. I'll walk at the ticketing counter and tell passengers where to sit. So after they get their salt, their, their salt, yeah, their soda, don't forget to group passengers going to the same spot by dragging them to adjacent seats. They'll go up to her, and she'll send them into groups automatically. Which makes life easy. So, see, like, again. See? See? See what just happened? I sent the plane to New Orleans, and then the second I sent the plane to New Orleans, a person showed up at New Orleans that wanted to go to Memphis. And then the second I sent the plane to go take care of that, another dude showed up here that wanted to go to Memphis. I just have such bad luck like that. Oh, that was unfortunate. These planes only hold four people, and there ended up being uh, additionals up there. New Orleans. New Orleans. I can uh, speed the process up, too. You'll see that ring that was just there? Um, that is the maximum... Uh, like, range of the planes. I wish I didn't need to rush so I could kind of, like, showcase a little bit more effectively. But rushing I am right now. Alright. Your planes, uh, by the way, like, don't crash or anything. Just throw that out there. <clears throat> so yeah, like, from Memphis, I wouldn't be able to get to Tampa without, like, making a pit stop somewhere else. Uh, and that is something you can do, by the way, like... <coughs> I could go from, like, Memphis to New Orleans, and then go down here. And that's pretty much ultimately how it'll work. Uh, larger planes have larger range. I'll kind of showcase that, actually, after this month ends. Um... Uh, Alright, get on the plane, dude. Two more people showed up. Good timing. Well, I guess I definitely want to get another plane soon, because this is kind of a hassle. Oh boy. Plane's stocked with people. And they're all mostly happy, which is always good. Boop. See, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, um, and this won't make any sense 
like, for a week from now or something like that. But, uh, the, like, Russian... I think it was an Airbus something. I want to say 321, but I honestly don't know if that's right. Uh, Russian passenger, like, jumbo jet, though, crashed in, uh, Egypt. Just made me think about that, because... You know. Playing a game about running an airline. Airlines are in the news again. <clears throat> so far, now this is like preliminary stuff, is what I heard. Well, hold on, let me let me get my crap here. Um, let's get another airplane. Now, I kind of wanted to save up for the better airplane. You can see the range medium versus uh, range short, and you can also see speed. Larger planes do go faster, which is uh, an amazing reason to get larger planes, to be honest. But anyway. Um, you see uh, New Orleans has that, and it says people want to come to party in February. Um, any of the places that have those have, like, special effects that trigger on their months, and they give you, like, heightened uh, business. I missed spring break in March, which is a shame. Can I afford Orlando? I can't afford Orlando. Which is also a shame. Alright, I'll get this one. May, June. Orlando's July. Alright, yeah, that gives me two months to be able to afford Orlando. I think I should be able to do it. Good job, this new city will help us earn more money. They want me to get Nashville. Another thing you should know is each passenger gives you a grade based on how happy they are when they arrive. If you get a lot of good ratings, more customers will come to our airport. We got a new kind of cloud showing up, the speed cloud. Whenever a plane flies through it, it flies much faster for a short period. Make sure to take advantage of the quick trips. Speed ones are cool, but you kind of have to like actively work with the speed cloud, as opposed to the money cloud, which you just need to hit, and then you get the benefits. We'll, we'll ultimately see one, but, and I'll show it to you, but... Uh, anyway, yeah. So, preliminary reports I heard about this thing is that it, uh, it broke apart up in the air. Um, that's not... There's a speed cloud, by the way. That's not really in dispute by anybody, because of the huge range of, like, the wreckage. So, like, it's... See how fast my plane's going right now? Uh, it definitely, like, broke apart in the air, because I believe it's, like, spread over a... I believe it was a 20-kilometer range. Um, that's about seven miles for us Americans. That sucks. Uh... So yeah, it definitely broke broke up in the air. the uh, The passenger line is saying uh, it's called like MetroJet, I think it was. Uh, you know, the planes got good maintenance. The crew was like experienced. That no way it could have been human error. Um, nothing was wrong with our planes. Blah 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 blah. Uh, so they're saying they think it was you know terrorism, which is the kind of go-to in these situations. It's always terrorism. Uh, <laughs> now, to be fair, it was, like, flying over, uh, like, an area of Egypt that does have, like, terrorist activity in it, so. It certainly could be terrorist. A lot of, uh, security experts say, though, that the terrorists in that area doesn't have, um, don't have weapons capable of hitting a plane that's at that high of altitude. Um, I don't know. That's what they say. But who really knows? Uh. See, that person in Charlotte is not going to give me a good review. <laughs> I think I probably should have purchased another plane. Um, that sucked. See, he had just left Charlotte and went to the R place, and then immediately those three people with R's showed up. Hopefully, yeah. The speed boost can continue a little bit beyond um, when it hits the home port. Not always, though. Ugh. Alright, you there, there, and there. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, so, <laughs> there, the, some security experts say that the terrorists in that area wouldn't have, um, anti-aircraft weapons that can hit a plane flying at the altitude the plane was on. Um, an American infrared satellite picked up a, like, heat bloom where the plane was supposed to be, which indicates some kind of in-air explosion, at least. Uh, so it could be like a dude, like a suicide bomber on the plane. Could have been shot down. Who knows? Uh, ISIS 
the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or whatever it is, uh, they claim credit for it, but I mean, they claim credit for everything. Somebody stubs their toe, and it's, it was our fault, we did it. We made him stub his toe. So I'm not really putting a lot of uh, faith into that. Hi, I'm Crystal, and I'm here to help you load passengers. If you want me to help, I'll need to know where our plane is going to go. Press the plan button and create a route for an airplane you'd like me to load. She will uh, send the people to that spot. Crystal will come over and call them into the plane. The plane is now loaded. And then I can manually send it out. Kind of like, actually, don't want her. Yeah, let's... You can show their skills. Um, if it's filled in, it's filled in. <clears throat> uh, otherwise, it's she's got like... So right now, she's got no experience, essentially. Um, so, like, anybody would be as equally good as her in that job. Um, this girl down here has one spot in customer service, so she's now slightly better than these two would be in customer service. She has a maximum of two spots. Whereas, like, this person has, uh, only one, but a maximum of two in ticketing and so on. Uh, I'm actually gonna fire her. Yeah, you can't hire her for the rest of the game. She's just gone, but... Ticketing is nice so that the people sit in spots so that I can get them in the planes faster. Um... But the, the customer service person, like, takes too long to really be relevant, I think, a lot of the time. Uh, and also, like, I just want to get the people out of here as soon as possible. I don't want to be, like, puttering around while that, that person has a, you know, is talking to them. So, it's, that's useful. Same with, like, the plan thing. I just want to get the people out of here as fast as possible. Be in, be done with it. Be in, be done with it. Alright, this plane's going to Memphis to pick up those Nash, or New Orleans people. This plane's going up here to pick those up, and then that. I totally need to get better planes, by the way. I'm, I'm really feeling the, uh, the four-seaters. <clears throat> well, that was convenient. Alright. <laughs> so anyway, though, yeah, the, the plane crashed. The Russians are trying to blame it on the, um, the airline, which was a Russian airline, by the way. Mostly because, uh, I think it would be inconvenient for a Russian plane to be shot down uh, by terrorists right now. So uh, I think they're trying to kind of downplay that. Obviously it's not great for uh, Egypt for Egypt to be like, yep, we let the terrorists shoot down your plane, whoops. Especially it uh, got shot down in a, um, like coming back from a like vacation hotspot. So, uh, be like, oh yeah, I mean, come vacation in lovely whatever this place is called. The chances of you dying in a fire car, uh, plane crash are relatively low. Is it really the, uh, the marketing slogan that I think they want to use? Alright, let's see here. I was about to uh, go reach for my phone. I kind of need to know what time it is. I got to go to the dentist today, which is uh, by far my favoritest task uh, known to man. Everybody loves going to the dentist, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm about to pay somebody a whole bunch of money to stick hooks in my teeth and then, uh, drill through them. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm just about to pay somebody to torture me. Yeah, I mean, sure, I know there's more to it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, and I know it's important, and, you know, I gotta keep the teeth clean, blah, 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 blah. But still, it kinda sucks. And I'm not, like, rolling in the amounts of money where I wanna spend $200 on this. I'm all, like, groaning my tibia premium expenses. I'm about to be spending, like, a year, two years worth of tibia premium on this dentist trip. It's awesome. Alright, we are in July. We are picking up Orlando. And this is gonna suck, by the way. Hi, I'm Walter, the owner of this airport. Buying more places is critical to us handling more passengers. Here you can buy new planes and sell older ones. As we get busy, we need more planes to handle the load. Purchase a four-seater. Just, uh, throwing this out there. This is probably gonna suck. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jay. I'll be helping you dock and send planes. Remember, I can only help if you, I know where the plane is gonna go. So make sure to use the plan button. 
That's not entirely true. He can use something else. If, however, I plan it, though, right? And then I put people in here, so... He should come out. Yeah, he'll come out. And he'll drag the plane over there. And he'll launch it on the runway. Um, so as you can see... <coughs> if you have the gate attendant that can call people over to your plane... Um, those two will work in tandem really well with each other. Yeah, I'm definitely needing another plane. Uh, he, however, can still do something by himself, which actually still makes him sort of useful, which is he can take the plane from over here and put it over here for you. So he's not hugely useful, but he's still pretty useful. I'm not going to be able to take all those people. The one dude at New Orleans is going to get stuck there, which is a shame. However, he is still slower which is a real shame. Yeah, I'm getting hammered right now. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Uh, this really sucks. Ugh. Well, at least I got the money thing there. Yeah, just way too many people. <laughs> This is way too many people. Uh, oh god, I'm like six of them need to go to Charlotte? That sucks. That sucks. Oh, and more to go to Memphis. Great. It's like... I'm gonna rush to get the... Uh, there we go. I wanna get the money back! Get the money back! I don't know how to make it. Oh, I didn't make it. Not only did I not make it, but I just sent a plane out there and wasted my time with it, which is great. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is not going so hot. <laughs> Way too many people. Ugh, God. And, like, they're all going in such incredibly annoying spots. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, like, from up there to New Orleans, they're going so far away from each other. I didn't really want him to do that right then. That was kind of inconvenient. Ugh. I can hire... And, uh, fire employees. I'm totally firing Jay. I can hire and fire employees, um, while the thing is going, but I can't buy planes or anything, which is a real shame. Because I could really use a plane right now. <laughs> We're really struggling right this moment. Oh, God. Both of my planes are returning at the exact same time. Wow. Bad timing. All right. Well, at least we'll get everybody. Uh, and if I had let them flip out, I'd have to, like, restart the month, which would suck. Uh, the upside is, if I managed to prevent them from, like, if they just didn't flip out until I ran out of time, uh, nothing bad would happen. I don't even know if, uh, like, I have to give them the money back. Well, the upside is we're definitely buying a freaking new plane now. Great work. These planes will help us serve our passengers better. Uh, yeah. He still wants me to buy the, uh, the old model. Alright. Can I get a destination? Um, uh, Tampa's in August and I don't have enough money for it. That sucks. Alright, we'll buy Nashville, though. He really wants me to get that four-seater. We've got a new kind of cloud showing up. The happy cloud. It makes all passengers everywhere very happy. Refilling their patience. Uh, it is actually all people, not just the people in the plane. So, like, the people who are in the home port that are upset, the people who are in, um, other cities that are upset, all of them will be made happy. It is actually a very useful one. Just throwing that out there. God, it's so great to be having, like, multiple planes now. 
You can see how, like, significantly faster that plane is at this point, which is great. Gonna do that. I should have probably had him just go straight to the New Orleans and then do it that way. Eh, it's whatever. I should have had him go straight to New Orleans and then Orlando and then back and then had another plane pick up the bag. Because now he's just taking forever while the rest of the planes are kind of just sitting around doing nothing. Poor planning on my part. You can, by the way, when I go to send this plane somewhere, you can see it has a heightened range. See? It covers everywhere! Anybody else? Anybody? Really? Bam. There we go. Picks up the speed boost and picks up everybody. Except for those three people. Alright. I'm glad that there was uh, enough room to hit that. It's a happy thing. Might as well get him. I mean, any like these people will all get happyified. Yay, they got happyified. Kendis, I think her name is, is not quite skilled enough at her job for me. It's taking a little bit of too much time. Alright, this plane, go to Nashville and then drop off at Orlando. This plane, also go to Orlando. This plane, go over here. Nashville. There we go. Get the money bag! Money cloud. Whatever. I don't care. I wonder how long this video is at this point. I was thinking I would be able to do at least like one year and probably like beat this. Uh, but I'm slightly thinking that's not possible anymore. Yeah, the plan was to like just do uh, all of the southwest United States in one video. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of close, but I feel like this video is already kind of chugging on, and we're only in August. Still got a while to go. Eh, I want to send this plane to pick up the five people, because it can only hold four. I'll send you to Memphis. We'll send you to the R place. <laughs> to the R place! I can pronounce all the other ones. Nashville, Charlotte, New Orleans, New Orleans. Orlando, Miami, Tampa. But not that place. Can't do that place. Alright. Another airplane. Great. These planes will help us serve our passengers. The passengers are getting hungry. A hot dog stand will keep them happy for a while. Sure. Hot dog stand. Uh, they want me to expand the Tampa. You'll notice that the hot dog stand is in fact larger. No, I don't want to sell it. I want to do that. There we go. I'm actually not going to do that, though. I'm still going to just do this. Because I want everything to be just as accessible as possible. I'm pretty sure they can still walk between them. Or maybe not. Yep, nope, they can't walk around. Alright, well, that was probably a mistake, then. <laughs> Oops. Some people will, like, buy both places. Some people will buy none of the places. It just kind of happens. That was probably a mistake. You. Ah, she's got a hot dog. Your turn. Yeah. Go to Nashville first. Get the money bag. Money cloud. I keep trying to call on that, too. I, and I know it's wrong. Is it a good plane? This is a good plane. Just, uh, yeah, if I, like, manually drag them, by the way, it does prevent them from, uh like, completing their purchase, if I do it before they finish the purchase. Obviously. Not if I do it after they finish the purchase. Get the happy cloud! Happiness for everybody! <laughs> Racking cough for me, and happiness for everybody. Two planes waiting to land. Yeah, that was kind of bad timing. Ugh. Do-do-do-do. That person, uh... That one person is quite displeased with my, my performance here. 
one plane waiting to land. Um, alright, hold on. We'll send this one to Orlando and then Charlotte to pick up all the Memphis people. Which ultimately ended up not being worth it because more Memphis people showed up. In my main hub. I believe uh, additional flag or clouds will show up faster if you get rid of the uh, the ones that are already there. So even if you don't really need to pick up a happiness flag or a speed flag, you should just do it anyway. I could be wrong though. Don't take my word for it. I have been known to be wrong in the past. Just hoping I could uh, speed this up a little bit too. And Memphis. And more Memphis people. Two of them, too. They could have fit on that tiny plane. And all would have been fine in the world. Memphis, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. My, uh, my accent's not quite up to par. Oh, I probably just want to go to sleep, by the way. 8.52. Yeah, probably gotta stop this video soon. Gotta get ready for the dentist. Uh, what's my next goal? More destinations? Well, we got everything else besides 80 passengers delivered. Um, might as well buy Miami. And then Tampa next. Yes, yes, they really want me to get to Tampa, I know. Do do. Probably should have uh, put the better plane there. Can they get. Okay, they can get it all the way to Miami in one go. It's good to know. I don't normally use these jump planes, which is why I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I usually just, like, skip these entirely. Because they suck. Massively. You, uh... If you're forced to make people wait, you want to make the people who are in your hub wait, because you can click on them to make them happier. Whereas you cannot do that with other people in other places. So if you can only send one, like, group out or something like that, make sure it's the groups that are, like, sitting in Memphis trying to get to Charlotte or something, and not the other way around. Let's do it this way then. And back to Nashville. Should have uh, stopped to put the people on that, but whatever. And Orlando. And <laughs> Nash New Orleans. I keep calling that Nashville. It'd be cool if uh, there was less major cities that shared the same starting letter as each other. It's not too huge of an issue while I'm uh, I'm still limited to just nine cities, but like, oh my god, when you do like the European ones, uh, <laughs> that have like, I think like 23 uh, destinations, it can get so confusing. Especially when they're like relatively close to each other. Like they keep, you'll see the color coding here is like sort of obvious here. We've got the like the rainbow coloration. Um... So, like, it's not super confusing or anything, <laughs> but, uh, when you have, like, Paris and a place that starts with, like, a P right next to each other and they're both, like, kind of the same color, it can be kind of confusing. Oh, I cracked my ankle. I wonder if that was picked up by my microphone or not. It was a good crack, though. It was, like, an earth-shaking crack. I should have had him go to New Orleans first. He could have picked up the, uh, the speed boost. And over to Charlotte to take care of those people. And I have so many people. Ah, uh, five. You suck at life. You'll have to take care of them now. New Orleans. Memphis. 
Memphis, Nashville, New Orleans, Tampa, Orlando, Miami, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, Florida, Tampa, Florida. Congratulations, we served 80 people this month. You've turned our little air- Okay, it was 80 passengers in one day. Good to know. Alright, and then I think getting Tampa just beats it right now. Am I just done? Yay, this airport is on its way to a huge success. Thanks to you. Months to complete this episode. Ten. So now I'll go on to the northeast. Of course, that will be yet another video. Um, so hey, I don't know, people. Tell me what you think of this. I can always stop it earlier if it seems incredibly boring. Uh, like I said, the southeast didn't have a lot of options. You'll get a lot more planes. You can get, like, private jets, which are super fast. Helicopters, which are actually really cool when they're still useful. Um... So anyway, folks, you know, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm off to the dentist.